Hi everyone! So today I thought I would um, try the twist flip cup with the slits again and a lot of you mentioned in the comment just to put the cup with the slits in another cup while I flip it and that way I could put white around without the paint flowing off too much it would hold the paint in that's what I hope uh, and it would give me the time to spread my base coat um, after the flip and it's an interesting idea <laughs> it was too simple for me to think about it I guess <laughs> so thank you for everyone who suggested it I really appreciate and for that today I mixed my paints uh, the usual way I have uh, fluid acrylics that I mixed about 30% paint to 70% medium and about 10-15% water. I have this paint here which is um, in between fluid and medium body consistency and I mix that the same as the fluid acrylic just a little more water so maybe 15-20% water instead of uh, 15 to uh, 10 to 15 and I have a heavy body acrylic, well two of them, uh, use Sennelier. Um, Sennelier are quite thick in consistency, so the trick to get them nice and fluid without getting clumps is to add a little medium first to get them to a more creamy consistency. Uh, just a little bit of medium, not a lot. And then once that is mixed in, you add the rest of the medium. So here I mix them about 50-50 paint medium and about 25% water. Uh, same with the white. I'm not looking for cells. I'm looking for the effect of the twist mostly. So I'm looking uh, for lines, for uh, uh, tw twirling motion, twisting motion, more than cells. Um, so yeah. Uh, I will zoom you in and we'll get started with that. Alright, so I will start by just pouring my colors in my cup. I have some um, shiny metallic blue. I love this color, it's so nice. And in my last painting it's sealed up really nicely and I'm just loving it. So I'm using a color harmony and basically the blue contrasts with the orange and the purple contrasts with the yellow. I'm hoping it won't create brown since it's probably going to mix a little bit. As I pour it. I'll prepare myself a spatula because I think the paint will uh, escape a little bit of the cup uh, while I flip it because the slits are not all covered by the second cup so we'll see. I'll have to hurry up to put the white on. Not too bad, not too bad. White paint here. All right, wipe this spread here.
what I'm gonna do next to make it look more interesting is straw. So yeah, this looks pretty good. I'll give you a time lapse in case it decides to change. Um, and meanwhile, I'll pop my bubbles and maybe try to cover the sides a little bit. Yeah, that would be nice. Alright, so I'm really happy with this. The only thing I would say is less paint. Less is often more. Because <laughs> right now uh, I want to keep the edges like that, but it's just flowing off the canvas. So I kept just blowing around to keep some of the details all around. So that's what you saw in the time lapse. Um, oops bubble here about or I just added that bubble <laughs> it's also possible I'm just blowing because the straw technique does add a lot of bubble uh, the white is gone <laughs> um, but it really really helped the paint to flow outwards and I mean we can see a little bit of it and it really helped in creating some nice effects around the edges, some cells and all that stuff. And I really wanted to keep this circular motion going so that's why I blew uh, going kind of uh, in a circle so it really looks like the circle is still going. And yeah. The yellow is almost gone. We have a little bit of yellow here and there, a little bit of lines. Um, the blue really took over. So I'm thinking this blue has a much lighter density than I uh, thought it had, which is possible. The thing is, I have no idea which pigment is, uh, is in there. They really don't say much on the bottle. But yeah, I'll have to try this again. And as I said, with less paint, less is often more, especially with blue paint, I find. And uh, one of the most common, I would say, <laughs> I was going to say mistake, but no. One of the most common happy accident I have is that I use too much paint. Um, but, that being said, I still quite like the result and I'm really happy with it. I love this corner here uh, with the yellow and the orange con contouring here and the cell. 
I love how wispy it's all around. It's gonna dry much darker too. Um, the medium being white uh, when wet really makes the color look a lot lighter than they are but as the medium dry it dries transparent and leaves only the pigment and the look of the color so it really darkens as it dries. Um, got a bunch of cells around that is caused by me blowing around getting the white paint up and the white paint sinking again. <laughs> uh, I wasn't really looking for cell, I re really was looking for the wispy look around. Um, so hopefully enough of the paint has flowed off the canvas already and it's going to uh, maybe pull a little bit in the middle because there is a lot of paint. <laughs> and hopefully it will dry nicely but I'm confident that with the GC800 it will, it won't crack. Um, especially that it's pretty humid today, it's raining and all. So that helps the paint dry slowly and and more evenly, I find. The fact that the canvas is uh, propped to help the air flow under it and really helps uh, dry evenly. The thing is, uh, GC800 uh, really slows the formation of a top coat, uh, top film and it's that top film that usually cracks when uh, the paint under didn't dry or didn't like start to dry and when the top film slides off it's often cracked and reveal the color under but GC800 really prevents that I find and I love it Move the cat hair. So yeah, love this painting, and uh, I'll stop messing with it now. I think it pretty much stopped moving too, so that's good. It will maybe spread a little bit more, especially on these sides. Not too sure why, but yeah, lovely painting and. Really happy with the result. That damn window on top of me creating a reflection. Really sorry about that. I really have to get that <laughs> blind. The, the thing too is I'm uh, filming pretty much all my videos in uh, a couple of days because uh, I'm going to Canada soon to see my family for Christmas. But I want you guys to have videos while I'm gone. Uh, I'll probably film a couple of videos there too, and uh, yeah, I'm filming in advance uh, so you have videos ready while I'm gone and you'll be able to enjoy them and I'll be able to enjoy my vacation too. <laughs> I'm back and I'm a happy painter! I quite like this. I think it's going to keep moving a little bit. I hope not too much. Uh, the only thing I'll do after the video is done is uh, do another round of bubble popping uh, with my hair dryer probably. But other than that, I'll leave it alone. Leave it as is. I love it and I think it's really cool. A uh, cool experiment and I'm going to try this again for sure. I have uh, leftover paint. Um, I'll have to see if I have time before my appointment at the hairdresser <laughs> before I leave for uh, Canada. I need to have a nice hair, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I should talk about the painting more. <laughs> Enough rambling. Uh, that should go in a vlog or something. I should do that. Um, I haven't done one and one day quite a bit. Uh, yeah. So, love the circular motion, love it, I love the wispy edges, um, let me know in the comments what you think. I will try this again with a lot less paint, I think is going to work better. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, it helps me out a lot. And on that note, thank you guys for watching, I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!